Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to determine the slope um, going in from, uh, determine the slope, sorry, uh, when given a table. So remember the slope, all right? We talked about slope. Slope is equal to our change in our y, y coordinates, over the change in x, all right? So let's just go and look at, let's just try to see, you know, as we're going from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's go and check out what is the change in our y over our change in our x. So let's look at our first two points, right? If I was going to go to point 1 and point 2. So the change in y is going to be 520 minus 260 over the change in our x, which is going to be 2 minus 1. Well, you can see in this case, 520 minus 260 is going to be 260 over 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have one change, which is 260 over 1. Now let's go and take a look at the next two points. How about 3 and 2? Now we're going to change in y over the change in the x. So here, let's go a little bit lower. So here my change in my y is going to be 780 minus 520 over 3 minus 2. So 780 minus 520, well again, that's going to equal 260 over 3 minus 2, which is going to equal 1. So again, we're going to have the exact same change. So when I do the change of y over the change of x, I'm producing the next same value. Now, if this is going to be constant, then this is going to be our slope. And let's just kind of check one more point here. Let's do 5 and 4. Keep on messing this up. That is the change in y over the change in our x. All right, let's do one more so we can determine. So the change in y over the change in x. So I have 1,300 minus 1,040, which is going to be the change in y, over my change in x, which is 5 minus 4. Well, again, that's going to equal 260 over 1. Now, I, only, I did this a couple different times, just so you could see that this is, one, a linear uh, equation. Um, but also, that you can see that, yes, yeah, since I have this constant, which is exactly the same, whenever I take the change of my y or my change of x, this constant is what we call our slope. And if I take 260 over 1, then I get 260. And that is going to be my slope for my table. Thanks.